now here's Billy Pierce. <laughs> You just love being in control. <laughs> They've cut my gas off. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's my turn now to sing for you now an old Buddy Holly song because there is no new ones. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you how it's gonna be. You're gonna give your love to me. <laughs> no, don't all rush at once, I can manage. <laughs> Nobody cared. <laughs> I didn't know they still wore them, love. <laughs> well, they keep you warm in this weather. <sighs> By gum, there's a strong smell of mothballs down here. <laughs> it's only fun, I'm a comedian. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him up there, spent all day doing his hair and then come out without it. <laughs> Please, I will tell you when. I told you they weren't handcuffed. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, it's not. Do you know, I, had a le I opened my mail this morning. I had a letter from the Reader's Digest saying you have not been included in our latest draw. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll tell you when, please. It's been pandemonium backstage. I haven't seen pandemonium like this since the day down our street when the TV detective van turned up the same time as a poll tax inspector. <laughs> <laughs> In this th I'll tell you when, please. In this theatre, the dressing rooms go down instead of up, and the lower down you are on the bill, the lower down your dressing room is. <laughs> They're giving me a miner's lamp and a canary. <laughs> <laughs> Still, it's nice to have a booking so soon after Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, I'll tell you when, please. I will tell you when, please, please. <laughs> Sorry? I don't want to come off. <laughs> He was thrown out of a pub in the happy hour. <laughs> on every dressing room door, on every dressing room door, they put the initials of a famous artist that has appeared on this very stage. <laughs> I'm in Wendy Craig's. <laughs> <laughs> this fellow rang the maternity hospital. He said, my wife is having a baby and she's just gone into labor. The doctor said, is this her first baby? He said, no, this is her husband. <laughs> <laughs> When I finish a joke, I'll nod. <laughs> Little lad went up to his dad. He said, Dad, where are the pyramids? He said, ask your mother. She tied it up. <laughs> he went to his mum. He said, Mum, how do them buffaloes make love? She said, I don't know. Your dad's a mason. <laughs> <laughs> do you know, in there's some funny people about. <laughs> This fellow went to the doctor, this fellow went to the doctor, he said, Doctor! Doctor! Oh! I've swallowed a mouth organ! The doctor said, that's funny. We had a woman in this morning, she'd just done the same thing. He went, oh, that must have been harmonica! <laughs> He's supposed to laugh, not knock back at me. <laughs> Do you know, I took this girl home once, and my dad, he whispered to me, he said, um, She's a bit rough, isn't she? I said, you are. Pardon? He said, well, she's a bit rough. I said, why? He said, well, she's got, she's cross-eyed, got a broken nose, cauliflower ears, warts, spots, boils, pimples, varicose veins, bunions, hump on her back and a brace on her teeth. I said, there's no need to whisper, she's deaf. <laughs> I'll tell you then, if you don't mind, please. I will tell you then, thank you. Sorry. Right, I was talking. He was, if he was on fire at down 998, do you know, I, I was talking to Frank Bruno last week, mate. I talked to anybody now. I told him straight. I just spoke my mind. I told him straight. I said, Frank, as a boxer, you are finished. He said, you what? I said, well, you're finished as a boxer. You're rubbish as a boxer. I said, I saw that fight you had with Tyson. I said, you did all right for a while. You got one good punch in. I said, but you never followed it up. Tyson clouded you all the way around the ring. He had a face like a bag of spanners when he'd finished with you. I said, no wonder you came out of the ring after that, advertising sauce and doing summer seasons and pantomimes and taking jobs away from people like me who work very, very hard in this business. Sometimes for years. 
And then you have the cheek to go back in the ring with a Dutchman who even in his own country has been nicknamed Rembrandt because he's always on the canvas. <laughs> Rub it! I'll tell you when, please. I'll tell you when. Now, I don't know what he said, cos I put the phone down. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'd just like to say in all serious, it's been an honour and a pleasure. And you know when I kept saying I'll tell you when? Well, it's now. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs>